This last video is going to give you a way of checking your work or uh, perhaps navigating a multiple choice test in which you have access to a graphing utility. Suppose you are working on an exam, a test, your final SAT, whatever it might be, and you have a problem like this and you want to know if you did it right. Like, did I get to the right answer? So in, even in class, instead of raising your hand, Ms. Taylor, did I do it right? Um, you, you can check it yourself. So here's the, the deal. Um, equivalent expressions have the same graph. It doesn't matter if it's simplified or unsimplified or if it's a line, what form it's in. If it is the same relationship uh, between the X's and the Y's, the graphs will always be the same. So here's the deal. If you graph the original expression, okay, so the thing that you were asked to simplify, you graph the original expression, um, then graph uh, our answer. Okay, whatever your answer is, uh, and see if they match. So at, it's like hard to um, give you like a, a more basic illustration, but suppose you said like y equals one plus four, and then you did another graph of y equals two plus three. It wouldn't matter that the expressions look different. 1 plus 4 is the same as 2 plus 3. It's just written a different way. It's the same principle. Um, if all you've done is simplify it, if all you've done is cancel out garbage that didn't matter anyway, um, when you graph it, it should end up being exactly the same graph. Now, here's where this is really valuable when we're talking about upcoming testing and stuff. Okay. Um, on a multiple choice test. Okay. So, on a multiple choice test, you don't necessarily have to go through all that factoring. So if the previous videos and lesson that we've done and you're like factoring, no, like bad. Okay. One, it's not bad, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, let's just say you don't want to do it. Okay. You can get around that on a multiple choice test because you know that the simplified function, the graph should match with whatever you were given. So in a multiple choice test, we could just see which answer choice. There's a weird delay when I'm writing on the screen here. Uh, which, which answer choice matched the problem? Now, keep in mind that that could be very time consuming, like picking which one matches the problem because you might find where you're typing in really ugly stuff. Um, first of all, it'll always work, but it might be a problem that you want to leave to the end because you know it's going to take you a little bit longer to get all that typed in. Um, you also need to make sure you're typing things correctly. You're not leaving things out. You're paying attention to what is or is not an exponent. The other thing that will help on a multiple choice test if you're doing that is to eliminate answer choices. So instead of just reverting to graphing everything, take a look at your answer choices and see if something that you you know you can identify that is wrong because say someone canceled out common terms uh or like they're not the same family so one of them's quadratic and one of them's not so um if you could save some time there but i wanted to show you what that looked like in the problem that um we just did so we were we just worked the problem um 4x plus 2 over 4x squared plus 6x plus 2. And the answer we got from that was 1 over x plus 1. So let's say we want to know, is that right? Did we do it right? We don't want to bother teacher. You're not a bother, by the way, just when you ask questions. But like, let's just say I'm like really busy. The phone keeps ringing. The door keeps opening. You know, you're just like, you know what, Miss Taylor's got her hands full. So I'm just going to go check this myself. Here is how you would do it. 
And, and this is, again, this can be really, really valuable uh, on a multiple choice test. So I'm going to do graphing calculator. And again, the idea here is that if you've simplified it correctly, these should have the exact same graph. So I'm going to graph, and it does help to graph it as a function. So I know if you just type in the expression, Desmos will graph it, but it, it will give you the ability to like see points of intersection if you graph it as a function. So we have 4x plus 2. And then on the denominator, we have 4x squared plus 6x plus 2. So that's the graph we got. And we want to know, does the other graph match? So we'll have y equals 1 over x plus 1. And what you will notice is that, yes, yes, indeed, they do both. So that is how you can check your answer choices. You can just check and see, did I, did I do it right? Um, if your graph does not match. Um, first of all, if your graph does not match, um, check and make sure you typed in everything correctly. So sometimes stuff can go wrong in between your paper and typing. Um, so you like accidentally have, say, the six X's sitting up in the exponent or something. Um, so double check that. But if they don't match, you know you made a mistake. Now, on a multiple choice test, again, you would kind of want to go through and see if you can eliminate something, um, but make sure that you're eliminating stuff you know, you know for sure that is wrong. Um, and then, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, I was going to say something else when you're typing it in, um, like eliminate stuff, double check it. Oh, what you would do is you would type in the original expression, and then you would have to plow through all of the answer choices um, to see which one matched up. If more than one of them matches up, uh, what you've got is one of those two is the right answer and one of them is not simplified all the way. And so double check the two answer choices and see if one of them still has a common factor in it that hasn't been canceled out. Um, pick whichever of the two is, is fully simplified. So that wraps up our lesson on whatever it is we're doing, uh, simplifying rational expressions. Um, if you're doing this on your own, it's probably in the ballpark of about 40 minutes worth of video. So same as a regular video, um, but um, broken up so that you can um, work on the assignment. And then the rest of the assignment is yours to be done on your own and make sure you're paying attention in class for the due dates.